facts. Everyone loves learning something new, and today we have episode 5 of our Clash of Clans facts series. Don't worry if you don't remember any of the previous episodes, the last one was like a year ago. In fact, in that episode, I said it was the last one due to having a hard time finding new facts, but somehow I found 50 more. I highly recommend watching the first four episodes after this video, so links will be down below and also at the end of the video. So. Let's get right into it. Let's do this. The airship only appears if the player is Town Hall 6 and if the clan is level 2 or higher. If those requirements aren't met, what will be there instead is a grey balloon that looks like this. Because of some laws in China, there are some differences between the game there and the rest of the world. Some of the key differences I found, the healer seems to be better dressed. <laughs> the poison is green. There are no references to pirates, so no pirate flag, and I'm pretty sure these skins are also called different and look different, but I couldn't find any pictures of that. Also, there are no Roman numerals, and lastly, a lot of the references of violence have been changed to other words. All of these changes reflect the strict rules in China over violence and sexuality. There are currently a total of 7,817,549 clans in Clash of Clans, and the country with the highest amount of clans is Indonesia, followed by India and then China. A couple of the early names for Clash of Clans was Brute Force and Tough Nuggets. What the, what the hell is Tough Nuggets? Anyways, of course there were many more, but according to Supercell, Clash of Clans was one that clicked. The original Town Hall 10 concept looked a whole lot like Town Hall 8. It was most likely changed because of that exact reason. As we mentioned in a prior episode, all Town Halls after 8 follow a theme, so perhaps when deciding what theme Town Hall 10 should have, this Town Hall 8 looking design was probably not unique enough. One of the loading screens in 2019 was not made by Supercell. It was created by an artist named Enrique Fernandez on DeviantArt. It is also the first and only loading screen image to be 2D. Here's the original. Before Titan League was added in June of 2015, leagues had a key difference. Nothing that really impacted the game, but I guess it's a cool fact. So instead of entering a league and being at, let's say, Silver 3, you used to enter a league and be at Silver 1. So basically, the subdivisions of a league were reversed, so that the bigger number came first. Why? I don't know. You used to be able to set your heroes on sleep mode where they wouldn't be guarding the base and just select. It is the exact same thing of how you can switch your clan castle to sleep mode. This feature was removed in October of 2020. It's possible for your clan to get banned from clan wars if someone in that clan used cheats. That person will be banned and then the clan will get banned for 14 days from doing any wars. Town Hall 8 is the only town hall where you can make a troop but can't receive it as a donation due to lack of space. The Golem. Some of the early sketches of the giant explain that he cannot wear armor because it would limit his arm movements. So yeah, that explains why there's never been a giant that has full armor. The color of the elixir is the exact same color down to the color code as the energy in Super Metroid. This was of course done on purpose because a lot of the early art was inspired by Nintendo games. The pillow the giant is holding in the clan capital changes colors when you change your clan banner. In 2015, when levels were added to clans, you had way more customization on how your clan bats looked like. Instead of two categories, there was a third option, which was for the border around the badge. Sometime between then and now though, the border selection was removed probably because Supercell wanted to control how the border looked depending on the level of your clan. The Grand Warden's belt has had the capital gold icon since 2016. <laughs> Obviously this wasn't a prediction of the future or anything crazy like that. The capital gold was most likely inspired by the design on the belt. But in the Clash of Rama series, the Grand Warden worked as a clan manager. So it could be referencing that maybe they knew. But I highly doubt it. It's probably just a big old coincidence. This is what Clash of Clans looked like during its development stages. The Grand Warden's ability color during its beta was orange, but this was later changed to yellow when released. The Royal Champion is named Warrior Princess in the game files. Town Hall 8 used to have a red flag on it for years, but one day, it mysteriously 
disappeared. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. You can no longer cancel a new building, only upgrades. The Royal Champion is voiced by Bonnie Bogovich. I, I probably said that wrong, but whatever. She's an actress and composer known for roles in I Expect You to Die, Pathfinder, Kingmaker, and Free Fire. Yes, that Free Fire. Going offline doesn't mean you'll get attacked immediately. There's actually a buffer period that isn't super obvious, but I actually have no idea what that buffer period is. Uh, if anyone knows, let me know. Before skins and 3D models were added, the Archer Queen appeared to have recoil when she attacked. Okay, this one might be obvious, but a lot of people get surprised when someone mentions it, so I guess I'll mention it too. There's a setting in the More Settings tab that lets you turn on 120 frames per second, but only if your phone can support it. Speaking of not so obvious settings, I guess I should throw in there that you can also change the size of the deployment bar. Almost two years ago, a one-to-one -one copy of the airship was first teased in the short film The Lost and Crowned. Supercell had already been working on the clan capital back then, so this might have been a very early sneak peek at what we would have got two years later. Or maybe they just liked the design and ran with it. Speaking of the airship, for a brief period, some players reported seeing a mysterious airship fly by their base before the update was revealed. Tall grass in the builder base only grows by itself if one of these three conditions are met. There's other tall grass, the old barbarian statue is there, or you have the ancient barbarian statue which is exactly the same as the old barbarian statue but you bought it from the shop. It may not be super obvious but the flame flinger displays its current level with either ropes or metal in Roman numerals. But the level 4 flame flinger sometimes displays these numbers incorrectly. Instead of showing 4, it shows 6 when facing left. In 2015, the battle timer was increased by 30 seconds to accommodate the new Town Hall 11. It went from 3 minutes to 3 minutes and 30 seconds. But in 2016 though, they ended up reverting this change back to 3 minutes. It is still like that to this day. So for about a year, you had 30 seconds extra. China has its own Clash of Clans servers as of February of 2022 due to new local laws. When this happened, players in China noticed they had been kicked from their clans that had been created by their overseas clanmates. Likewise, people all over the world noticed players from China had automatically been kicked out from their clan. Before pets came out, they released a teaser for actual pets on April Fools. The cat on there was called Loki. Barbarian King just loves his Loki. This was a reference to Darian's cat, Loki, who had passed recently. Rest in peace, Loki. I didn't know you, but you'll be missed. At one point during the early stages of the development of the game, Supercell used an art style that was similar to Legos, but they decided it was a no-go because it felt too childish for adults. This is probably what it looked like, which was taken directly from the Art of Supercell book. Have you ever noticed that troops in Clash of Clans look like plastic? Almost as if they took a figure of them and put them in the game. Well, according to Supercell, this was done on purpose and no, you're not crazy. They wanted characters that could be seen as toys and figurines. And the crazy part, this has nothing to do with them selling it years later. Or does it? Every scenery in the game has a hidden banana. The Hog Rider plays tribute to Mr. T and Babe. <laughs> now my Babe. A piglet which appears in a movie named The Same, as well as many other movies. R.I.P. There used to be a mysterious statue with gem looking rocks before the game was released. You won't find any information about this by the way, anywhere. But in the last episode, I said I would find facts, even if it meant getting top secret information from Supercell. <laughs> and guess what I did? Well, just for one fact. Anyways, I asked about this a couple months ago and Marika, part of the Clash of Clans team, told me they were most likely decoration buildings that could be upgraded. Whoa. But she made sure to tell me she wasn't 100% sure, so uh, yeah. There are a ton of easter eggs in the game, but you might have missed some if you completed the single player maps long before these easter eggs existed. This includes the Santa Strike and Goblin Picnic, the Pumpkin Bomb in Full Frontal, and a Skeleton Army in Obsidian Tower. There was once a glitch that affected a special challenge where you could get a 100% destruction 2 star. <laughs> That's weird. 
Over the years, the revenge button has been named one of the most useless features of Clash of Clans. Supercell has tried to make it more appealing, like making the stars count toward the star bonus, or perhaps you can count the massive Super Bowl ad, but nothing has helped the revenge button be more relevant. It is still a laughing stock to this day, and if you're wondering why all of the hate, just try and revenge someone. Keyword. Try. I think everyone knows by now that if you train a P.E.K.K.A, after a while, that P.E.K.K.A will randomly follow a butterfly, but did you know that that butterfly used to be a baby dragon? Well, at least in the developer build. I assume the baby dragon was used as a placeholder while they animated an actual butterfly. Shout out to Godson who posted this footage on his channel, which I didn't even know. In the Inferno Town challenge a while back, the villagers usually seen walking around were replaced by goblins. It's a little weird seeing them just walk around going about their day because, you know, they're goblins. You'd think they'd be stealing their own resources or something. So I thought this was worth a mention as this has never really happened before as far as I'm aware. Sceneries with this M logo are from the Supercell Make program, which is basically where they do campaigns with cash prizes to whoever can make the best scenery based on a theme Supercell is asking for. So far for Clash of Clans, this program has introduced two sceneries and one hero skin. Years back, El Primo from Brawl Stars, <laughs> sorry, that was cringe, was added to Clash of Clans temporarily, but he looked kind of different. Like, you've almost seen him somewhere before, right? Well, yes, that's because it was literally the dude from Clan Games. Clash of Clans became the highest grossing video game in the United States in just three short months after launch, which is usually unheard of because at the time they were new developers. According to statistics, players in Clash of Clans are predominantly male with 77% and only 23% being female. And if you're wondering, the players over the age of 50 account for only 5% of the player base. 1% of that 5% probably being your mom. It's been revealed that Town Hall 15 will most likely not have a hero, and it was simply a coincidence that every other Town Hall was getting one in the first place. So yeah, maybe Town Hall 16 or 17. Clan Games was originally suggested by a user named Clash of Clans Lover in the Clash of Clans forums, all the way back in October 21st of 2012. Gah! That was a long time ago. Unfortunately, the Clash of Clans forums has been shut down for about a year, so um... Yeah, whatever concepts and drawings he had and ideas are long lost. Town Hall 1 is the only Town Hall where you can't build walls. This is because the tutorial literally forces you to upgrade to Town Hall 2 before you can build walls. There was once a bug years ago where your expo would shoot air even when it was set to ground. This was obviously a huge deal in the leaderboards. There was supposed to be a giant hero. How crazy would have that been? <laughs> in a previous episode, we mentioned when the game was released, August 2nd, 2012, right? But before the release, it was called Magic, and we also mentioned that in a previous episode. But we never mentioned when exactly it came out. Clutch of Clans officially came out in July of 2012 in Canada. Of course, under the name Magic. So guys, that should be it for these 50 facts. Part 5, huh? Thought I'd never see this day. Yeah, it was a little hard to find 50 more facts, but after a year or so, some facts just kind of exist now, and it, I don't know. I use different methods to find new facts. With that being said, part 6, <laughs> never happening. Never. Just stop. Don't even think about it. I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video, though. If you guys want to watch the previous four episodes, click on the left link right here. This one right here. The Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one. Just click it. Click it. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Have a gaming out. Peace.